and forth. There are very powerful winds and sandstorms on Mars that last for months at a time. Jupiter. We have now arrived at Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. Do you see how small the Earth looks? We might like to stop and have a rest here, but that is not possible. Why? This is because Jupiter is a giant ball consisting of gas, and there is no firm land on it. The diameter of Jupiter is 11 times greater than that of the Earth. One thousand three hundred Earths could fit into Jupiter. Observers on Earth have known for the last three hundred years that there is a large red spot on the surface of this giant planet. In recent times, it was realized that this red spot is nothing more than a storm, the size of two planet Earth. In other words, Jupiter is a planet with no firm land on it, with huge storms that last for hundreds of years. And on which nothing can live. Saturn. Saturn is best known for the rings around it. It is the second largest planet after Jupiter. These rings consist of gas and bits of rock. The temperature of this planet is too low for living things to survive. It is minus 178 degrees Celsius. If Saturn were to fall into a sufficiently big ocean, it would immediately return to the surface and start floating. Yet it is large enough to hold 750 of our Earths. So how could it float on water? That really puzzles me. The reason that Saturn could float is because this planet consists entirely of gases. It could float because it is very light. Uranus. Uranus is the third largest planet in the solar system. Its surface temperature is around minus two hundred and fourteen degrees Celsius. In other words, it is so cold we would freeze in just one second. Nothing could breathe in its atmosphere because it consists of poisonous gases. Neptune. The next planet we come to as we move along through the solar system is Neptune. The diameter of Neptune is four times larger than that of the Earth. Its atmosphere, made up of gases, would be poisonous to us. Very powerful storms also rage on the planet's surface at speeds of up to 2,000 kilometers. This planet is very cold, with a surface temperature of around minus 218 degrees Celsius. Everything we have seen so far points to one very important fact: apart from our Earth, none of the planets in the solar system are capable of sustaining life, and each is a dead and silent body. Our Earth, on the other hand, is a brightly colored planet with everything necessary for life. With its bright green forests and deep blue seas, it looks really beautiful from space. 
God has created our world in such a way that we human beings and other life forms can all live on it. This fact is set out in the Quran, revealed by God as a guide for us. It is He who made the earth a couch for you, and the sky a dome. He sends down water from the sky, and by it brings forth fruits for your provision. Other heavenly bodies in the solar system include comets, asteroids, and meteorites. Comets consist of frozen gases and dust. They sometimes begin orbiting around the sun. A comet starts to evaporate as it approaches the sun, under the effect of the sun's heat. A bright light appears as a result of this evaporation. Asteroids are huge rocks in space. They are generally found between the orbits of the planets Mars and Jupiter. Some asteroids are truly enormous, with diameters of up to 1,000 kilometers. Meteoroids are small rocks or combinations of rock and iron that break off from asteroids or comets. Meteoroids occasionally head towards our Earth. As they enter and pass through the atmosphere, however, they are heated as a result of friction and thus cease being a danger. They appear as a streak of light as they burn. These are known as meteors. Nevertheless, some meteors do not vaporize entirely, and they actually strike the ground. These meteors that survive and hit the ground are known as meteorites. When meteorites hit the ground, the damage they do depends on their size. For example, one huge crater was formed when one meteorite fell to Earth. Our world is always at danger from these. However, God protects us against this threat. The burning effect of the atmosphere is so powerful that almost all the meteors entering the Earth's atmosphere burn up in it. This is just one of the countless examples of God's love and compassion for us and of His protection over us. God has created the giant galaxies, stars, and planets in complete harmony, and of these, He has made the Earth a special home for human beings and other living things. This blessing of God's is revealed as follows in the Quran. God is He who created the heavens and the earth, and sends down water from the sky, and by it brings forth fruits as provision for you. And He has made the sun and moon subservient to you, holding steady to their courses. And He has made the night and day subservient to you. He has given you everything you have asked Him for. If you tried to number God's blessings, you could never count them. Never forget that it is God who allows us to live in this giant universe, and it is He who protects us against all dangers. That is why we must always give thanks to Him.